In this video, we are going to solve exponential equations. For example, let's say we have 4 to the power of x minus 1 equals 16. Okay, So when we say solving this equation, that means we're looking for the values of x that will satisfy this equation. And of course, for this example, we can just simply guess. If we just guess that number, then we can just actually solve this problem pretty easily. But that's not what we want. We want a concise way of solving it. We want a legitimate solution, not just trying to guess numbers, okay? So how do we do that, okay? We need to use the one-to-one -one property of exponential equations. What does that mean? So that says, that if you have b to the power of x, or if b is your base, and then you have b to the power of y, and you equate these two expressions, then that just means that x equals y, okay? So that says, if b to the power of x is equal to b to the power of y, then x is equal to y. That's the one-to-one -one property of exponential equations. What that means is, we just have to make sure that our bases are equal. Just like here that you have B and B, we need to have these two things, the two bases, equal. So how do we do that? Well, we could write, say, 4 to the power of x minus 1. I could write 16 as 4 squared. So what I did was, I just wanted my bases to be equal, okay? So if I have a base of four, then I want my base here to be four, and, and thankfully, I can just write that as four squared, okay? Now, following, following this property, I can then write this as x minus one, because x minus one is my exponent, equals positive two. And then I can just solve this equation. I could write x equals 3. And that is my solution. And in fact, if I, if I plug this value, x equals 3, here, I will get 3 minus 1, which is 2. Then 4 squared will give me 16. And that's exactly correct. Okay? So here, my solution is x equals 3. So that's how we find a solution. Let's take this example. 25 raised to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 125 raised to the power of x plus 3. Now again, my goal is I want to have my bases equal. Okay. Now is there a way that I could make this base equal to 25? Because if I did that, then I will have 25 here and 25 there. Now the answer is no. There's no way. Um, I mean, there's a way, but there's no easy way to do that. Uh, what if I say I wrote 25 as 5 squared? Would that work, right? Would that work? So let's see. So that's 5 squared raised to the power of x minus 1. And then my right-hand side is 125, but I could recognize the fact that 125 is 5 cubed. So I could just write 5 cubed times x, uh, raised to the power of x plus 3. Then I can use the power rule for exponents. The power rule says that if you have, say, a, or say, b to the power of x to the power of y, that is just equal to b to the power of x times y. So I can then use this property to simplify both my left-hand side and right-hand side. So I can then write the left-hand side as 5 to the power of 2 times x minus 1. And my right-hand side can then be written as 5 times uh, 5 raised to the power of 3 times x plus 3. And there you go. I now have equal bases. So the next step is to bring down my exponents. So I will have 2 times x minus 1 equals 3 times x plus 3. I can then simplify my left and right hand sides. That will give me 
2x minus 2 equals 3x plus 9. Then I will have my terms with same uh, variables on one side and the constant to the other side. So I'll have 2x minus 3x equals 9 plus 2. Okay, this will give me negative x equals 11. And so x equals negative 11. And that is my solution. Okay, let's have one last example. Let's say that we have 9 to the power of x squared equals 3 to the power of x plus 3. So now what do I do? I want my bases to be equal. Okay. So how could I do that? Well, I might write 9 as 3 squared. So that's 3 squared raised to the power of x squared equals 3 to the power of x plus 3. And then again, using the power rule for exponents, I will get I will get 3 raised to the power of 2x squared equals 3 to the power of x plus 3. Then I can just bring down my exponents because I now have same basis. That will give me 2x squared equals x plus 3. Then I can put all my numbers on the left hand side. That will give me 2x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. That is a quadratic equation. Then all we need to do is solve our quadratic equation. So for this we could use quadratic formula but then we can just easily factor this so this factors to 2x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals 0 so this becomes 2x minus 3 equals 0 x plus 1 equals 0 so I have x equals 3 over 2 and x equals negative 1 as my solutions. So I now have my solutions. Of course, you can check that out. If you want to make sure that that or these are your solutions, just, pl just plug these values to your original equation. And that's it. That's how you solve exponential equations.